Hello, the Poshpreneurs. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It sounds like a jungle out here. I'm a little bit late getting these guys up for the morning. These guys are very excited to come out for the day. We've had rain forever. They'll get quiet when I let them out, don't worry. Good morning. In case this is anybody's first Farm Friday, we are starting at the guinea coop. We're letting the guineas out. Um, guineas are cr crazy birds. They can fly wicked high. Um, not like a bird like flying long distances, but you can see how high like my roof is. They can fly right up to the top of the roof, like no problem. They're just crazy crazy flyers. Anyway, we're just gonna shoot the breeze for another two minutes or something so we can get people on here before I teach you the fabulous lesson that I thought up this morning while I was laying in bed waiting for the sun to come up. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna lose service because I'm gonna pop over here to let the pigs and the goats out. Good morning! Good morning, babies! They always stand here and wait for their morning pets. Sorry, I'm not a very good camera person. Say good morning, Mr. Goaty. Good morning, everybody. Let's see if I can get it. Good morning. Good morning, babies. <laughs> they do a lot of just like moaning in the morning. It's so funny. Okay, guys, come on. I have to go talk to the poshpreneurs. Okay. All right, go, go have fun. Okay. We're gonna throw them some Cheerios and then I'm going to get started. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining the Farm Friday. We used to do this every week and then I got out of the habit and then nobody really said anything. So I was just like, meh, whatever. But then in the last 12 hours, I had two of you call me out for wanting Farm Friday. So here we are. I'll flip you around. I just tossed them just regular Cheerios. And this looks so gross because we've had rain for like a week or whatever, but just regular Cheerios keeps them busy. <laughs> We're gonna get started as soon as I get back up to the coop. So my lesson today is about collecting eggs. So every day I collect eggs. Now I have a ton of chickens, which you haven't seen yet. I mean, some of you have, but you haven't seen yet this morning. And I have a ton of guineas. Both chickens and guineas lay eggs. And the guinea eggs taste just like chicken eggs. They're just about half the size. So every day when I collect the eggs, I come here, so we've got this cute little flip door that I keep locked because raccoons are very sneaky and they can open simple latches. Anyway, ooh, I'm a little bit behind on collecting the eggs. So here's where I collect the eggs from. So you see, it's really, I'm gonna be out of breath this whole time because I'm walking around the property. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you see on that flip door that it's super easy access, right? All I have to do is walk up from the comfort of the outside of the coop, flip it open, and grab the eggs. So those eggs are the customers that you get maybe just in a party, right? You just send out samples and they're like, yeah, I want to I wanna buy your stuff. Those are those eggs, okay? Are you tracking with me? I'm going somewhere with this. Okay, now I'm going to hike up the hill. To that coop, that's where my other chickens and my other guineas live. They're such creatures of habit. So my very first set of guineas are the ones that live in that coop over there. And then my chickens have always lived up here in the chicken coop. But then when I ordered a bunch of different colored guineas last year, I raised them. And then when they were time to go outside, I put them into the chicken coop. And they never wanted to go be with the other guineas in the other coop. They just accept that they live in the chicken coop. 
Anyway, so now we're gonna hike up here and I'm gonna show you where I collect other eggs. And the point of my story is that these other eggs, all right, it's gonna be loud and annoying for a minute, so just go ahead and mute me while I get these birds out of here. Okay, say good morning. This site is always a fun site to see when I open this door. Well, hello everybody. Good morning. Hello, good morning. And then you can see they follow me down there. And they're like, come back and give us more treats. Okay. Come on, everybody, get out of here. Stop making noise. Okay, so I showed you where I collect the eggs and it's super easy and you access it from the outside. Well, over here, it gets a little bit more uncomfortable, right? So I have to actually come in and typically there's somebody. Yep, see, there we go. I've got one chicken that likes to hide her eggs under this box. And I don't mind because that's what's comfortable for that chicken, right? That chicken likes to be in a very dark, very private space to lay her eggs. And so it's a little bit more uncomfortable for me to go collect those eggs. It's a little bit more of an effort for me because I have to open this door and I have to come into here. I have to flip this box open and I have to collect those eggs. So I'm comparing these eggs to her customers, right? So the box that I can easily access from out there at the other coop, those are your easy customers that you're getting in parties that you're getting from sending samples. In here, under this box, is a different kind of customer, right? That customer under the box is really only comfortable in private one-on-one -on -one conversations. She maybe participated a little bit in the party, but she didn't really feel comfortable saying what skin type she had or talking about what needs she had in the party. And so you have to, um, you know, reach out to her differently. Now I've got more eggs to show you. And I wore my tall boots today because I was attacked by a rooster the other day, which should be a whole nother lesson. He caught me off guard. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna make our way through. So this is like two separate runs that are attached. If the chickens didn't free range. Or, okay, this, you see, I'm about to get attacked. Ah, oh, jeez, it's fine, everything's fine. This is your morning entertainment. You're welcome, everybody. Maybe I'll just go ahead and access it from the other direction. This is another lesson, right? We're gonna run into roadblocks in our business and you just find another way around. It's fine, we're gonna go the other way around. Hopefully he's less mad at that. Okay. So in here, you're going to see, oh good, he left the building, but now we have another one to get by. Everything's fine. Don't, you. oh God, everything's fine. I'm just defending myself, everybody. I'll be back in a minute. He's being crazy, and if I get attacked from both sides, this might end fast. Everything's fine. I'm not gonna attack you. Don't attack me. It's like they don't even know who feeds them. Okay, so now we're, we've gotten into the coop. And I'm gonna show you what used to be the nesting boxes that I collected the eggs from. When I first got the chickens, they would all lay nicely in these boxes, okay? I would come collect them. So equate that to your business. When you first started your business, you had all your parties lined up and everybody had a lot of customers, right? And you were just coming out to these nice nesting boxes collecting eggs. But now that you've, running, you've been running your business for six months, one year, two years, your business has grown, right? And these original nesting boxes have gotten a little messy. And like your customers don't even necessarily want to access you there. And so you've got a <laughs> camera. And so you've got some customers that are maybe flying under the radar, right? So you can see I've got some eggs over in this corner. And you can see, again, I'm here in nesting boxes. And then down here under the nesting boxes, there's a whole trove of customers waiting to be discovered. I hope you guys are appreciating my analogy because I feel like I'm really beating it. But anyway, um, so when I collect eggs, 
I don't just go to the nice comfy box that I can access from outside. I also come tour the property, right? So down nestled under the original nesting boxes, there's more eggs to be discovered. Down under the overturned box in the run, there's more eggs to be discovered because that's how that customer wants to be um, found. This is how these customers want to be found. These customers don't like parties, but maybe these customers like sharing samples with their coworkers. Who knows? And oh, by the way, I literally cannot even find so many of the guinea hen eggs because guinea hens are a whole different kind of customer. All right, I'm gonna just try to safely exit. You guys, I don't usually get attacked by my roosters this frequently. Some crazy things are happening. Anyway, so guinea hens like to lay their eggs in the wild. They don't like to use a nesting box. They like to lay them in like tall grass or under a shrub. And so you literally have to spend like all day Easter egg hunting to find a guinea hen nest or you have to super observe the guinea hens, like super observe them because they're super like secret about it. It's pretty cool. But then once you do find a guinea hen nest, there's usually a mom that's sitting on it and then there'll be three other guineas that kind of stand guard around. And so anyway, you get used to what it looks like and you can find them a little easier. Same thing with our customers, right? So you've got the customers that are easily accessed from the outside box of the coop and then you've got the customers that are a little bit more um special in how they want to be accessed under that one overturned box and under the original nesting boxes where the customers used to gather and then you've also got an entire field everywhere fields full of potential customers that you literally have to go out and find and it's not everybody is going to go out and find them. Some people are just fine with, uh, I have a funny story to tell you after this. Some people are just fine with not finding those customers. But then there's other top producers that don't stop searching these fields until they have found all of the eggs, all of the nests. Side note, guineas are so funny. They are like little alarm alarms. And so if there's a stranger on your property, they'll alert you. If there's a coyote on the property, they'll alert you. And if there's a literal board out of place, they will alert you. They're all like, oh, this doesn't belong here. What's going on? What is this? They're the funniest birds in the world. But anyway, that is my Farm Friday lesson for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, if any of your teammates or friends didn't get a chance to join us, tag them so that they can watch this because I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. I think this was a pretty applicable Farm Friday lesson. Apparently I don't belong either. They think I'm a stranger. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fabulous Friday. I have a ton more shout outs to get to. We're doing awesome, awesome things. Congratulations to everybody. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.